goose. I like this hand. I got a nice stopper. I got some creatures and enchantment that we can place, so it's not a bad hand. I got got a decent little pile of land in our hand too, so I might dump one of these aspects. Because we pull them too often. But they do come in handy, I'm not going to lie. I have enjoyed pulling them. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to hold off. So what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me what I came for. Now, he is green, so there's a possibility of him destroying that. He's got the land. He's placed a creature. He's placed a blue creature. Alright. I think I know what this is going to be. This is going to be interesting. Let's see. Kraken. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I've never come up against this deck. It's not an enchantment, right? You used it for the scary? Hmm. I'm gonna put my fox out. Because we like our little foxy. Now we're gonna play this aspect. put our lotus. Alright, so with Outlaw out there, I don't think I need to place another creature anytime soon. This motherfucker right here is going to be annoying, I can tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Law Mage. Yeah, we're gonna use all our mage on that one. That's gonna piss them off. We're gonna see what happens right now. It's gonna be nice. You can keep your crack and die. I kind of cho chose to ignore the second one, but 
but I'd rather kill him both. This is going to be good because he's going to keep paying. So he's not going to he's going to either he's going to have to continue to pull land. You know what I mean? And we've got a good land jump. Like we've got all the land technically that we need to pull all the cards that we need to use that we have in our deck. So I mean, he's just there for defense. We have to be careful, because he might destroy this enchantment. And if he destroys the outlaw before we get too close to beating him, we need to pump up our fox. Let's play our hero. Oh man. That sucks. We can take him out though. We shouldn't let him survive. I hate this guy. So this is going to be rough. If he doesn't destroy our enchantment, we can get this win. We should not let this tentacle survive. There's nothing we can do about a tentacle man. I think we just take this life link. We drew a card that we did not need. We just gotta hold off. I think we could survive this. We've blocked the main crack, the main. We stopped the head of the fish, you know what I mean? Cut it off. I'm thinking, man. Stained tentacle is annoying. What's crazy is I'm like, we can win this match. There's no way he's got enough enchantments to to get past us. Like literally no way.
literally no way. Let's kill this tentacle over here. We can end up losing creatures for nothing right now. I'm actually kind of hoping he pulls the second instant. Fish has a lot of arms, you know. Doesn't do a doesn't do a lot of damage, but I feel like we could have saved a creature by placing this, but I didn't really feel like it was the best thing. Because we might need both of them right now. Let's see what he does. I want to see what he wastes these last two cards. If he wastes these last two cards. Might end up losing this one. I really hate this. I wish when you click the auto passing, it would just auto pass you. Like clicking it because I know what he's gonna do, or I don't care. You know, like, if I wanted to stop just in case, that's what you put this little thing right here for, you know, stop for the end combat. So, I can always remember to click this right here. You know, like, I get, no, most people don't remember that's there, but it's like, that's on them, you know. Like, the feature is there. Pay attention to the game, that's what you should be doing anyways. Bruh. I'm watching YouTube. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Who's a bad fish? Dun, 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 a stupid fish. Come on. Dude, please. Please. I'm begging you, just go.
See, when I take my time like this, it's because I've thought out my move and I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? I hate it when people take their time and they're taking their time with each card they play. Like, I have to make sure every single card I play, I'm th I've thought out every move. It's like, dude, just play the, f play the fucking game. I beg you, play the fucking game. Please. And then it's my thing too, is like, I know you can't really think your hand out completely because you end up drawing a card and then the card you draw might make a complete difference to what your plan might be. But it's like, dude, know your, know your deck, you know? I mean, I just don't put a deck together without knowing what it, it's at least capable of, you know what I mean? Like, at its max and at its weakness. This deck does surprise me sometimes. It does do some things I don't expect, but not, not often. I mean, it's a, it's a basic deck. It's a boring deck. I wasn't really meant to, like, make a difference. I stopped two of his little freaking creatures. This fool was, like, not wanting to go. I don't like this guy. You can tell he's extremely worried about this match and how it's gonna go. He hasn't done any damage to me. I was like, dude, just go. It's like, you don't know what you can do until you've placed the card, you know what I mean? Probably should have hit him, but like I said, he hasn't really hit us much. This motherfucker with the trample, though, is annoying.
We gotta sacrifice as much as we can to block that, which sucks. Well, we lost this match. I'm only annoyed because it's like, why did you not place this on him? What is this dude doing? I hate this man so much. Please, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you for attacking me, you coward. Okay, anyways, good game.